nuisance. Homeowners contacted 7 Action News about to complain about the shootings, public urination, and trash taking over their block. Neighbors say an after-hours club on James Cousins and Pilgrim is at the center of the disturbance. 7 Action News reporter Sarah Michaels spoke to homeowners about what they've been experiencing and has the security footage to back up their claims. The VIP club is about a half a block behind me. The partying that takes place inside of the club, that's not the problem here. It's what carries out into these neighborhoods that has residents staying up at night. I'm on anxiety medicine. I don't sleep every time I hear gunshots and all that. I've been robbing duct tape before, so I don't sleep. And it's, it's depressing. Dorther Davison tells me Thursday through Sunday, people coming from the VIP club plague her and her neighbor's yards, firing gunshots. Parking and speeding in front of their homes. Urinating on their lawns. I called police about a thousand times. And starting fights, sometimes with the homeowners themselves. Everybody got grandkids. We can't even come outside and do nothing in the yard because we got to clean up behind somebody else. Bottles and drugs, needles and all kinds of stuff. You can't get no sleep. PJ lives further in the neighborhood and showed me this video of all of the trash club goers leave on their streets. It looked like somebody just took a garbage truck and dumped it. She told me she's seen shootings, carjackings and domestic violence in just the past few months. This guy picked her up by her neck and body slammed her. So you'd like to see the club shut down? Shut down or move. To me, commercial is infiltrating the neighborhood. I reached out to Detroit police who confirmed to me the VIP club has been shut down on and off. They gave me this statement saying they have conducted enforcement operations to improve the quality of life, will continue to provide special attention, and will continue assisting the city's building department in shutting down any business that is non-compliant. My thing is, if you got an overflow, you need to tell your patrons, don't go into the neighborhood. We be doing a, dealing with a whole lot. And I just want the mayor to do something about the situation because it's not fair to us. I called the VIP club and reached out to them over social media, but nobody got back to me. Reporting in Detroit, I'm Sarah Michaels for 7 Action News.